Okay, guys. On section 3.3, you're continuing this idea of solving a system. Oops, i got to turn the slate on. There we go. Solving a system, but this time you have a pair of inequalities that you want to try and solve and find out what they have in common. Before, it was a pair of lines, and you tried to find out what was in common. In that case, it was a coordinate. This time, you're going to be graphing inequalities, because they have inequalities with it. And remember, when you graphed inequality, there was shading. So let's do the first one here. So doing this one, the y-intercept is negative 3. The slope is 2. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. You can continue that pattern as long as you need. The line doesn't have an equal sign with it. So remember that that's going to end up being a dashed line. So here's your line. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it says y is less than. Less than is below the line. So you would shade this side of the line. Choose a different color here. Graph this one. Your y-intercept is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slope is negative a half. Down one, right two. Down one, right two. Down one, right two. This time the line is solid because it has the equal sign with it. A little bit off, but there you go. And it says y is greater than, so you're going to shade above it. And your final answer is the area where the two overlap. So this is an overlapping with the other section, <coughs> excuse me, as well as this down here needs to be removed. So your final answer is this area over here where it's double shaded. So it's this section over here. Right? Next one. Remember those two are vertical lines? Sorry, vertical? They're horizontal. I apologize. Try not to cough and I can't remember which is a horizontal, which is vertical. It only has the Y. So remember, it's only going to cross the Y, so it's going to be a horizontal line. In this case, it's a horizontal line at 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It doesn't have an equal sign with it, so it's dashed. Oops, stay with it. All right. Y is less than, so I'm shading under it. This line with another horizontal line that's dashed. Y is greater than, so I'm shading above it. So the area that's in common is the area that's between the two lines. Okay. Let's clear that out. Go to this one. It only has an X, so that means the line is vertical. Holy cow. I'm getting crazy on me. It only has an X, so your line is only going to cross the X. So it's going to be a vertical line. X is less than 8. It um, doesn't have an equal sign with it. So it's a vertical line that's dashed. Y is less than 8. It's going to be shaded this side. Then you have another vertical line. X is greater than or equal to 2. It does have an equal sign with it, so the line is solid. And it's Y, or sorry, X is greater than, so we're shading to the right. So the area that's going to be overlapped is between the two lines. So this is this section of the graph that would get shaded. It's in between them. Okay. Oops. Get off there. All right. So once again, you're going to shade the sections that overlap. So you only have to remember how to graph lines. If the equation that you're given, say is given to you like, whoops, 2x minus 3y less than or equal to 9, and you want to graph it, remember you got to solve for y, so subtract the 2x. Then you'd have to divide by negative 3y. So y is equal to, oops, and turn the inequality around because you divided by a negative. 2 thirds x minus 3. So 
So you need to solve for y first before you can graph it. All right, that's all for section 3.3. Uh,